Hi, welcome to Miller's Tech Review. I'm Mike Miller, your host. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ember Temperature Controlled Mug. But before we get there, don't forget to hit the like button right below, and don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe so you never ever miss one of my reviews again. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is the Gen 2 Ember Temperature Controlled mug this is the charge saucer it sits in you see the two little contacts right there it sits right on top of that saucer and makes a beautiful combination i think this cup is made out of stainless steel coated in ceramic which keeps your beverage piping hot and keeps the cup cool to the touch has a wonderful ergonomic handle which is beveled on the inside flat on the outside and fits my large hand perfectly. This is the 10 ounce version, also comes in a 14 ounce version and a larger travel mug. I think the 10 ounce works perfectly for me. I drink from a French press and I can top off my beverage during the morning and I have no problems. Also, if you put it in the charged saucer, it'll keep your beverage at your desired temperature indefinitely or until the beverage is consumed. Now on the app, the app, you can dial in your preferred temperature from 125 degrees Fahrenheit to 150 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius if you're one of them European folks. I like mine about 140 degrees and it will keep that 140 degrees until the last sip is gone. At that time, it'll come up and say empty on the app, shutting off the cup, saving the rest of your charge and no worry about it overheating or doing something that you don't want it to do. Now there's a customizing feature also. You notice the green light. That's my custom color. So if you have more than one person in the house that has an ember mug, they can select their own color so you know whose cup belongs to who. Pretty cool. Now, caring for the mug. This is the Gen 2, so you can put it completely into water, although I suggest turning it off first. It is a $100 cup. Treat it like a $100 cup. Clean it with something not abrasive, a, a nice soft cloth, a couple of drops of, of soap. Clean it out, wipe it off thoroughly, and make sure you dry the bottom completely because when it makes contact with this charge plate, it could short and reduce the longevity of your cup. Do not put it in the dishwasher. Do not put it in the microwave. Don't want to do that. Don't do that. No microwave. But otherwise, it's a durable cup. Just as durable as any other coffee cup I have. Now, the cons. They claim... Ember claims 90 minutes of usage on each charge. Respectfully, I'm getting about 70. Now, if you put it in the saucer, it'll hold that temperature indefinitely until the last sip is gone, and then it shuts off and shows empty on the app, as I mentioned. But 60, 70 minutes seems to be fine for me. So the other side of the coin Is that huge or what? This thing takes up, with the cord, takes up three positions on my charge strip. What can you do? It needs its own charge strip, I think. But otherwise, uh, it's fine. So, very, very few cons. The other thing, too, I, I meant to mention, this will help maintain the quality of the functionality of the cup and saucer. These two little springs here, or these contacts are spring loaded. If you put your cup on top of that, try to avoid this motion. Put it on, take it off, but try not to do this because eventually you can wear these little contacts off. They will no longer spring and your cup will no longer charge and it's $45 
to replace this charge plate. So use some caution in that. Don't let the kids use it. This is your coffee cup or beverage cup. Keep it in your office or someplace where it's handy for you. But otherwise, I think it's a wonderful product. $100 well spent. I think you'll feel that too. And I'd like to hear from your comments and see what you think. See if you think I could review this product better. Any suggestions you might have. And I will keep that in mind. And on the next product, I'll even try to do better. But again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned to my next review. Until then, I need some more coffee. See ya.